Of course, we are all human and we all make mistakes. Same thing happens when we get involved in boating. We get out there and can misjudge things and sometimes things, well, can just go wrong. Just like some of the things we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is an absolute wild one that's going to take us up to Oregon. Where this was the scene this past week when a 35-foot vessel made a distress call to the Coast Guard claiming it was taking on water approximately 6 miles off the coast of Astoria, Oregon in an area known as the Columbia Bar. The Coast Guard actually had crews doing training missions in the area and quickly dispatched a pair of 47-foot lifeboats and an air crew aboard a Jayhawk helicopter and the crews arrived just in the nick of time just as this happened. Now fortunately for this mariner, as we saw in the video, the Coast Guard already had its rescue swimmer in the water and he was able to quickly get access to the captain and the Jayhawk crew pulled them straight into the helicopter and took them back to dry land, amazingly without any injuries at all. But the story gets twisted from here. This is images of the captain who was rescued, dropping a fish on the patio of a home made famous in the movie Goonies located in Oregon. Apparently, our guy is actually wanted in Canada for several different things and it turns out he actually stole this vessel. Now, as you can imagine, the Coast Guard took the gentleman to a local hospital so he could be checked out, and local officials tried to verify the man's identity, but the gentleman actually was able to successfully check himself out of the hospital before local officials could figure out who he was. Once they determined that it was Jericho Labonte and that he was wanted in Canada for several charges and that this vessel was stolen, police went back after him and he was arrested later that evening based on charges of theft, endangering another person, unauthorized use of a vehicle, and criminal mischief. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Western Australia, where this was the scene this past week, when three gentlemen went out for a nice day of fishing, when their vessel began to take on water and wound up capsizing approximately 10 miles offshore. Fortunately, the crew had an esky on board and were able to cling to the esky for two hours while they waited on rescuers to come pull them out of the water. The gentleman claimed the esky helped save their lives as conditions were rough and it added extra flotation they needed to stay above the water. Fortunately, the crew had an EPIRB on board. Rescuers were able to find their exact location without any injuries. And our next story to make the boating news this week is going to keep us in Australia, and this was the other big one that occurred this week, when a fisherman made a really expensive mistake that cost him more than $500. The fisherman pulled into a 7-Eleven gas station in the West Pennant Hills area of Sydney to fill his boat and car up with fuel, but by mistake, he put the hose into the rod holder and began to fill the vessel with gas and didn't realize this until he pumped over 200 liters of fuel into the cockpit of his boat. Now, of course, this is not uncommon. We see videos like this every single year pop up, but the one thing I don't see a lot of is a cleanup that looks like this. They are dumping the fuel on the ground at the gas station. Now, I'm not from Australia. Maybe this drain is designed to hold that fuel. But I know here in the US, we would never see something like this happen. Let me know in the comments below, is that drain there for a situation like this? Or is this guy just literally dumping fuel on the concrete at a gas station, probably causing a massive fire hazard? Now I'm just guessing here in the US, if this was going on, this guy would probably get arrested. I'm not sure what's gonna happen over there. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever done this? I know the comments I've seen in this video have varied wildly from people saying, oh, we've been there, done that to basically berating the gentleman. What I'm really curious about, I wonder if this was a friend offering to pay for the gas and the captain just didn't watch him. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know when you might see your stories over here. Just like Alex River, Brandon Hizza, Nick Pilmer, Thomas Johnson, Don Herr, and Corey Lewis did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.